friends, welcome back to the channel. We are gonna do yet another Bath & Body Works trash talk video. I feel like this will be my last one for a while because I have been going through this crazy Bath & Body Works candle burning fest and I kind of am now moving over to other type of like summery scents from different brands. And that's where a lot of my Bath & Body Works I've just been coming from lately are from candles. But enough of that, let's go ahead and jump into it. So first I have two mini one wick candles. I have the Tea and Lemon and then I have the Radiant Red Maple. The Tea and Lemon, I did not like this scent. Um, you can see here that it burned um, pretty evenly, left a little bit of residue on the sides, but had a decent scent. It just smelled too much like tea, which you probably are thinking to yourself, obviously, Victoria, it's called tea and lemon, but when I smelled it on cold, I was smelling more lemon, but then as it burns, it has more of that tea scent, and I don't like tea, I don't like to drink tea, I don't like really the smell of tea, iced tea, regular tea, I'm not a fan of it, so I didn't like the scent of this, but it actually was a pretty strong smelling candle, despite how small it was. On the flip side, we have Radiant Red Maple. This one probably burned like the worst way out of all the ones that I had used. And I loved the smell of this, but it's funny. As soon as it, it had the, like the best scent throw for all the single uh, ones that I had had, when Ben smelled it, he said to me, he goes, oh, it smells like cotton candy. Now that I smell it when it's burning, I agree, I can smell cotton candy. It doesn't smell that way on cold, but if this comes in a three wick, I would probably jump on buying it because I really, really enjoyed this scent. Okay, on to three wicks. First one that I have is Sun Drenched Vineyard. This is from the Cork and Vine line. Mm, this was really, really nice. It had a little bit of a cologne scent and also sort of a grapey note. It says in here that it's got white wine and oak, which I think are those two kind of scents that I'm picking up on. This is a bedroom scent. Really enjoyed it and it burned really well. We also have the Summer Boardwalk. I already mentioned um, in my previous videos that this smells like something else. This probably had the best scent throw I have had in a super long time. It almost was to the point where it was too much, like I got kind of sick of the scent. As I mentioned, I have this same, not Summer Boardwalk, but basically the same scent notes and a couple of other candles, and I'm not ready to burn them yet because I'm kind of tired of this type of scent, but it burned really, really well. The last one we have is the Malibu Citrus Glow. I am also going to keep this uh, glass and transfer out some of the other ones that I've been saving for brushes. Um, this I really enjoyed. It is such a nice orange citrus scent. It's not overwhelming. It, it was really nice. I ended up really liking this line of candles and I wish I had discovered them sooner than the semi-annual sale because I probably would have picked up more of them, but really awesome line and I really am enjoying this glass to repackage and refurbish. Okay, on to a body wash. This is the Wild Berry Tulips Shower Gel. Use this up. This was just okay. It, um, it reminded me a little bit of um, Country Chic, not as intense by any means, but I just am finding that I'm not as into this sort of what I consider the generic go-to Bath & Body Works scent. Uh, I have a few others in this type of packaging line and I'm not super keen on them. We have another soap. This is the Driftwood Surf Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. It's got nectarine, ocean driftwood, and warm amber. Love this smell. This is Oh my gosh, this is such an awesome, this to me smells a little bit like Ben's Adidas cologne, which I really, really love. I'm sad this is gone, uh, but I'm happy that we got use out of it. And we are kind of making a big dent in hand soaps around here lately, which I'm a big fan of. The last two things I have, I'm actually really sad about. They are triple moisture body creams. I was going through my hoarding closet like I do from time to time. And I remembered that I had a couple of like cherry blossom lotions that I wanted to pull out and I kept forgetting to use them. So I pulled them out. It was blushing, cherry blossom, and regular cherry blossom. Now, these I'm pretty sure have just gone bad. This one, I don't know if you can hear it, but it's super liquidy and when I tried to squeeze it out, it just, it, it doesn't look good and it doesn't smell good. And then cherry blossom, it doesn't, like it doesn't have a, 
a cherry blossom scent at all. It doesn't really have much of a scent. It's kind of almost like a Play-Doh scent. And I've never had a Bath & Body Works product go quote unquote bad on me, but I've heard from other people in my Bath & Body Works group that some surefire signs that your products have gone bad is if they sort of liquefy on you, which is what's happening with this one, or if they smell off in a way. And I never really knew what that meant until I smelled this. This just smells off and it is a little bit liquidy too. So I have never really kept track of the years on my body creams the way I finally did with my body gels and my showers. These, you have to, I discovered, look at like the crinkle on here, which is hard to do. So I discovered that these are from 2009 and 2012. So they're very, very old and I decided to go through and look at the rest of my body creams and my oldest body creams are from like 2014. So these, I think the reason why they went bad and never got used is they kept constantly going to the back of the shuffle. I don't think I ever really loved these two scents so they just kept getting put off and put off and it really bums me out. I've, like I said, I've never had this happen before and I'm bummed that I have to basically throw away two products that I've never got to use. So it kind of gives me the motivation but I'm still kind of iffy on it, of doing a straight year long Bath & Body Works no buy. I'm really not sure I could do it. I definitely couldn't do it with candles, so I would definitely allow myself to purchase candles, but for body care items, I don't know, it would be really hard. I wanna know your thoughts on this, if you guys think I should do it or could do it. Um, you know, I have 14 body creams, which if I was using those, if I used one a month, that's over a year's worth. Uh, I have like 15 or 16 um, body scrubs, which that's again over a year's worth. So I'm not sure. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. This really has kind of changed my view of my hoarding closet because I've never had something go bad on me. And I've always said like, I want to get use out of these products, but now this gives me a bit more perspective. So I don't know. I'm still processing it uh, and all that jazz. Love to hear your thoughts on this. And I will talk to you guys in my next video real soon. Bye.